I'm very against the government stopping you from like harming yourself, you know, unless it's like unregulated stock market or what? No, definitely regulate the stock market. So why that? Because it's private. Yeah, because like it's like your own money. Like it doesn't hurt anybody. But if you like manipulate the stock market, you're fucking other people. But the stock market has, you know, like if the volatility stops, which does stop people from trading. Oh, I think that's. I think that. I think just make it fucking volatile. Let it free. Let it loose. No limit up, limit down for commodity trading. Nah, if the entire shit just fucking. Then nah, you lose the country. Free free markets, baby. It's not free markets. It's it's a very regulated market based on credit and debt. I just yeah. I just I just mean like no corruption. But if it, we're having a mean? wild if we're having a wild swing trading day or whatever, like don't fucking hold back. An unregulated market. Well, like regulated so no crime can be done, but like don't like artificially restrict. You just you like the idea of no government in your money. I yeah, pretty much. Well, do you think that is a, a thing if it's good? I think it, I think stock it would market. Be, I think it would be good. I think irresponsible people would ruin their lives, and responsible people would be fine. And I don't care about the irresponsible people. I I tend to lean on regulation in markets is probably a good idea. I think we're talking. Are we talking about the same regulation? I'm not Vol- for everybody listening that's picking and choosing what I'm saying. I'm not saying no regulation in the markets. I'm saying no reg I'm saying regulation to prevent fraud and crimes. Uh, yes, I'm talking about related. volatility price as well. Oh, volatility price? Nah, let that volatility swing, baby. Done in the limit up, limit down. I- I'm pretty sure it's in place because it would break the economy. That's right. And then we'll rebuild. I I don't think that's what you want to do. <laughs> just fucking just. You want to you want to rebuild the go. economy every ten to twenty years. Maybe that's what we need—a good ass kicking every ten to twenty years. And what happens? Maybe, but, and but then maybe we'll be like, you know what? Maybe it'd be worth our wild. <laughs> yeah. Maybe no. Maybe it'd be that's worth our happened. wild to build an honest system, so we don't need this much regulation. What you do know? you mean, an honest system of people not selling? No, of like fucking just bailouts and like under the table bullshit, you know, stuff that like, and then when the fucking dominoes fall and everybody has to pick up the pieces and then we do it again, it's like America is built on dominoes, dude. It's built via credit and debt of people, governments printing their own money and giving it to companies that will make something in the real economy. Yeah, I know. That is dominoes is the american way sure is but like what if it wasn't then it wouldn't be the country that it is yeah i know that's that's the point i'm trying to make would you what would it be like i'm asking you i'm not sure i didn't live it if i would think of it it, it, i don't think capitalism would reign supreme (laughs) because you know because it's not capitalism well what do you think i I think because it's not an entirely free market like you say it's, it's based on levers of credit and debt when things get too hot or too cold and it's not a uh, libertarian mold of in an economy what what made you so keen on libertarian ideology i don't know but i know it started like around college i know i i knew like in high school that i wasn't like Republican or Democrat, but I didn't know anything about politics. So I was just like, oh, I'm certainly not what my parents are. And I'm certainly not what the kids at school are. So I don't really know what I am. And then like fucking college used to be different walks, of different life. And I don't know. So what's your ideal government? No government except for military? No, my ideal government is I want the federal government's job to be to invest in technology keep and invest in like fucking medicine and shit okay and to basically just protect the rights of the citizens which i guess could be done through the military um and then i want pretty much everything else to be local government state counties huh no i mean i guess 
I don't know. I haven't really thought about that. I guess money could stay the same because like who wants to change currencies going state to state? I don't really want Joe Biden to be making like overarching policy about people in California. Like California is a totally different world than Washington, D.C. Unless it's something it's a, like like we're in the 21st century. People yeah, I know. know what other states are. Yeah, like but it's like, not it's not 1920 when you have to go on a, a road trip and it's hard to understand what a state is. But you need to. So do you think that we should have all the same laws as they do in Washington, D.C., considering different weather here, different population di density, different jobs? Like there's so no, many different don't. factors. There's different laws. Yeah. But like, do you do you think I know we don't, but do you think there should be? You think no. federal government should make all the laws? I think federal government should make some laws. I don't have a percentage in my mind, but I'm, I'm, yeah, there's there's different uh, laws that would be from state to state and federal. Like, like I'm saying, like local law, local governments should have like the most power. Like people should be talking about, yo, who are we voting for for governor? Probably more than who are we voting for for president? You know, the governor should be have more influence over our day to day life than the president. I think there's definitely some validity in that for sure. I think I think local government involvement is more important. Just sometimes you <laughs> you're always just like any regulation by a federal government I'm automatically against. Is what I hear sometimes. Really? Oh, I try not to sound that way. That's what it comes off as sometimes. I'm not like anarchist because there are a lot of bad people out there that want to stop the way you go about your day-to-day -day life and and it's me. Oftentimes, no, I, the government is the only barrier between you and them.